Hi there, this is Krista Watson from Krista Quilts, and I'm here to show you three easy ways to quilt my terrace tiles quilts made from grid work fabric from Benertex. The first design I'm going to show you is one of my favorites, free motion swirls. Now I'm quilting this design on the amethyst colorway of my terrace tiles quilt. I've made it three different versions with three different quilting designs to kind of give you some variety, but they're all quilted basically the same way. Now notice as I'm quilting, I'm doing a basic swirl design and I'm filling in the little gaps with little flourishes and extra lines or smaller swirls. And just watch me for a little while. Watch how I get around the design and I go backwards and forwards and around to fill in the spaces. Let's take a look. The thread I'm using is from my Aurifil Variegated Collection of 100% cotton 50 weight threads. There's 12 different spools that come in the collection and as you watch this video you'll see three different colors I'm using for each of the three quilts that I'm quilting. Again, I'm having a good time making my swirls. I'm not worrying about any imperfections and notice how much I stop and move my fingers so that my hands are comfortable. Once you feel like you're starting to reach or you can't get a comfortable position, just stop and breathe and pick up where you go. Notice as I stop, I slightly shift the quilt. I kind of make sure that the needle is going to start stitching and then I move the quilt. That will enable me to have a nice, smooth, fluid movement as I stitch. Here's another tip. As I'm making my way around the swirls, I will echo a previous shape and I'll fill in all the nooks and crannies. Sometimes when I stitch the swirls, I'm going to go around the center of the swirl, and sometimes I go back around the tail. I don't try to overthink it, I'm just trying to fill in all the areas with nice, smooth, round lines. But if they're not smooth and they're not perfect, again, I'm not going to worry about it. The other thing you'll notice is it's going to take a little while to cover the area. I focus on one little chunk of fabric at a time, trying to fill in that area, overlapping to another one, and it's going to take me a little while to fill in all the spaces, so I just take it easy and enjoy each stitch. Notice how the thread blends into the busier fabrics and it really stands out on the more solid fabrics. That's the fun thing about using the variegated thread. It looks great on all the fabrics. And here's what it looks like when the entire quilt is finished. Don't you love all that yummy texture? The next design I'm going to show you is modern boxes, quilted kind of the same way. Now I'm using a variegated thread in a blue and green color with a little bit of gray. You see how when the gray thread is on the gray fabric, it almost disappears. And when it gets to some of the darker threads, you can see the design. I love using this variegated thread over a multicolored quilt because it sparkles and shines as I stitch out the designs. To quilt the box's design, I'm trying to keep my lines relatively straight and I'm stitching out square shapes, but if I overlap my squares or if I cut through a previous square, that's perfectly fine. When I'm on the edges, I, I try to go right to the edge and catch all of the fabric, and then I continue to work my way around the quilt block by block. You'll notice that when I have more of a solid fabric, you'll be able to see the thread a little bit better. Other areas of the quilt, it's going to blend in but I just continue over and over with the square design, forming boxes all over the surface of the quilt. Again, don't be afraid to stop 
and start over again once you've moved your hands and you have a more comfortable position. I like to set my machine so that it stops with the needle in the down position. That way when I'm ready to start stitching again, everything stays nice and smooth. And here's the box's design stitched entirely over the breeze colorway of the terrace tiles quilt. Now, let's move on to jagged stipple. This is a great alternative to regular stipple. Instead of stitching nice, smooth curves and shapes, everything is angular and jaggedy. It's much more fun, much more forgiving, and it looks fabulous on modern quilts. The thread color I'm using is black and white from my variegated collection. It blends into the black and white prints and it really adds something extra to the citron and the navy prints. This is the citron colorway of my grid work fabric, but of course this terrace tiles quilt looks fabulous in any fabrics and any threads you choose to use. As I form these jagged shapes, I'm going to stop and reposition my hands whenever I need to, and if I have to think about which direction, I'll take a second and look at my quilt. Do I need to go up or down or left or right? Where do I need to go to fill in the entire area? Again, on the busier prints, the design is going to blend in more, and it's going to show up more on the more contrasting prints, but it all looks great once it's finished. Now just remember, there's no right or wrong way to form a design. If your jagged stipple looks different than my jagged stipple, that's okay. You've just created your own customization. The important thing is to fill in all the spaces and try to keep the designs at a regular scale. You can quilt it all very tight or you can quilt it all very loose. As long as it's the same density, it's going to look good. And here's an extra tip. The more you quilt your quilt, the less your imperfections are going to show. And once you're all done, you can sit back and enjoy that awesome texture you've just created on your quilt. Job well done. If you'd like to get my terrace tiles pattern, just go to shop.kristaquilts.com.